Welcome to our channel. In this video, we will talk about equations of horizontal and vertical lines. We will look at some examples and we will look at the general form of equations of horizontal and vertical lines. So let's start with an example. Let's find some points that is find the equation y equals two and let's graph it. So let's do that on a table. We can put x and y here. So when x is zero, to find y, let's look at the equation. It says y equals two. So it's independent of x, no matter what x is, y is two here. When x is one, again, it says y equals two. When x is two, y is again two. When x is three, y is again two, because y is always two. So even when x is eight, y is still two. So no matter what x is, y is always two. So we have the points like 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, and 8, 2. So let's try to plot these points and see how they look like. So 0, 2 is right here. 1, 2 is right here. 2, 2 is right here. 3, 2 is here. 8, 2 is here. So it looks like the graph will be a straight line going through these points. So from here, we can see the graph will be like this one. So this is the graph of the function y equals two. So based on the example we just looked at, we see that equation of a horizontal line has the form y equals constant. So for example, we may have y equals two, the one we just looked at, we can have y equals negative two, we can have y equals negative 10. So all these are horizontal lines. So y equals negative 10 would have a graph like this one, a horizontal line going through y equals negative 10. So this is the graph of y equals negative 10. Similarly, y equals negative two would be something like this. If negative two is here, then the graph will be a horizontal line going through that point. This is y equals negative two. Let's look at more examples. So here we have the equation y equals negative three. This is simply a horizontal line going through y equals negative three. So y equals negative three is right here. The graph will simply be a horizontal line going through that point. So this is the graph of the equation y equals negative three. Let's look at the next example. We have y equals zero. So y equals zero is this point here, y value is zero over here. So the graph of this equation is simply the horizontal line going through that point y equals zero. So this is the graph of the equation y equals zero. And which is simply the x-axis. So this is simply the x-axis. The graph is simply x-axis. Now so let's talk about vertical lines. So let's start with an example again. Find some points satisfying the equation x equals two and we want to graph it. So for that, let's create a table x, y. So in this case, x is always two. So if y is zero, x is two, y has no restriction. So y can have any value. When y is one, x is still two. When y is five, x is still two. When y is negative six, x is still two. So we have all these points. So from here, we see the graph must go through two zero. The graph must go through two one. The graph must go through two five. The graph must go through two negative six. Now let's plot these points and see how they look like. So the point two zero is right here. The point two one is right here. The point two five is up here. And point two negative six, I assume would be somewhere over there below y value of negative five. So now the graph is simply a vertical line connecting these points. So this is the graph of the equation x equals two. It's simply a vertical line at x equals two. 
based on this example, we can see that a vertical line has equation of the form x equals a constant. This is equation of a vertical line. So for example, we can have x equals five, x equals negative six, x equals 100, all these are vertical lines. So these values decide where you are drawing the vertical line. Let's look at more examples. So we have x equals negative three, that means it's a vertical line at x equals negative three. Negative three is right here. So it's a vertical line going through that point. So it must be something like this. So this is the graph of the equation x equals negative three. x equals zero is again a vertical line going through x equals zero. x value of zero lies right here. So we just draw a vertical line going through that point. This is the graph of x equals zero. And we see that this is simply y-axis. The graph of x equals zero is simply y-axis. So this is all we have in this video. We will talk about slopes and other properties of these horizontal and vertical lines in our next videos. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.